Sound Speeds! And since 2017, this channel has been dedicated to teaching you about sound. What makes me qualified to teach you? Well, I've been working in some aspect of sound since 1992 when I started in theater. By 1996, I was a DJ, and in 2001, I worked on my first feature film in the sound department. And that's the industry I work in today, motion picture and television. And there's a pretty decent chance if you watch movies and TV that you've heard some sound that I'm directly responsible for. Now look, I don't claim to know everything. <laughs> Far from it. But what I can tell you is on this channel, there's hundreds of videos that teach you sound advice from a pro sound guy. I'm not afraid to dive deep in my explanations. Most of the time it's reading a negative 71.35 dB, so I'm going to use that number for our calculations. Now for some math. Negative 71.35 was our measurement, but we need to add 17.29 back to that so we see what it would be like on a dBU analog meter. This, of course, did not make the director happy, and ignoring the sound man, grabbed the microphone, put it over the end of a broom, and held it over the actors for the tracking shot. That's right, you heard it correctly. The very first boom operator was a director. But on the MXX connector, this slot has been changed to an indentation, which reduces damage done to the XLR casing. EMC connectors are ideal in three different scenarios, RF rejection, ground loop elimination, and proper grounding. Let's look at an example. Negative one times the sine value will tell you if the rest of the number is positive or negative. Next, you write one point, the value of the 23-bit integer. This is actually a 24-bit value though. The 24th bit is hidden and referred to as the phantom bit. The Waves Loudness Meter VST isn't the right tool to give me an accurate noise floor measurement. So, after I select an area of thermal noise recording to loop, I bring up JS Audio Statistics, which is. I let it run for a while while the level evens out and just check out these results. Or if it does move, you want to make sure there's an area that does not move between the actor and the background. And that would give Post an opportunity to draw a little line around it and piece together the plate shot that does not have the boom in it and the rest of the take where the actors are moving. So that way the boom is covered up. I test equipment in ways nobody else will. In range, because I'm only about seven or so hundred feet away from the receiver. And at this time, it's probably closer to 300 feet because I'm going about 50 miles an hour down this road. Making my turn in in front of the camera, and it shouldn't be more than about 50 feet at this time. I let it bathe in the warm spring sun and acid for just over an hour. And when the smoke died down, I went to check it out. That smoke is harmful, so I didn't want to be anywhere close while it bathed. That's when I came to realize a couple of things. The first is that the microphone looks very relaxed in its bath and even spread out a bit to enjoy. Pesky porcupines prefer pink pickles. This thing hates me right now. So why don't we blow straight into it and see what happens. And because that's not enough. And because that's not enough. Yep, I think we got it now. I'm now speaking into the WLAV micro about one foot away from my mouth, and I'm raising my voice louder and louder with the microphone just off access to my mouth so I don't blast it with plosives! I'm yelling into the microphone at full volume now! We're now 32 and a half feet over the top of my head. This is full stick on the longest boom pole in the world, an ambient QP6200, and we have an ambient QDS, also known as the dipstick, added in there too. At this height, this thing is as unstable as my last girlfriend. So we're gonna come back down and go on back to the studio. We put every fan in the entire building that we could get our hands on at that pianissimo, and we were not able to get the wind higher than 13.4 miles per hour, and there was still no noise hitting that microphone at all. Just listen for yourself. This is still the same thing. This is still trying to break the Cinella. I'll teach you secrets professionals normally don't share. That, yes, you just said to a 12-hour guarantee as opposed to a 10-hour guarantee has cut your hourly rate by 15. Now, you look at that and you say, but I'm still earning the same amount per day. Here's the kicker. Accounting is not going to put your rate in there as $770 for the day. They're going to enter it in at an hourly rate. Uh, I had a, a lady who's a seamstress that specializes in oil cloth to make me my own cloak that um, it's a design where I can put it around me. And if I put my arms over my head, then, of course, 
it doesn't choke me out because you know a cape or something like that does choke you out but this is it's over it's over big in size so that way i can actually wrap my pole around there uh and keep it in if it's raining you know exactly what i'm talking about because no matter what kind of shoes you're wearing they're going to make noise on this kind of a surface your foot sinks into these pebbles and shifts every single time you do any sort of movement so what can you possibly do i have a solution for you and then we take a sum of all the channels this is a mixing bus here we take a sum of all the channels before the processing right that's raw and we just sum that put it through the same kind of level detecting we run that back as a reference to all the channels so in each channel we can look at the ratio between the sum of all the channels and that individual channel in the case of the hogs here at the bottom of a bucket, as the water level starts to rise, we have to come up with a solution to get this hog's hair on top of the water so that it can continue to work for us. Here's my trick for this. And it surprisingly works effectively for us when you can't see someone's face. I've never, like, thought of that. But I have found myself in those situations. Obviously, we all do, where we're obscured. We're trying to boom a scene and we can't see our actor. Yeah. And Great little tip. I'm going to actually try that. And I'm also brutally honest. And as for the specifications, they're not in any kind of a format that is even useful to you. Now, aside from that, the quality of the microphone, why do they feel the need to put echoes on there? It just to makes no sense to me whatsoever. To me, this is not a microphone that needs to exist. I think they need to go back to the drawing board and redo this thing. So will 48 volts phantom power destroy your dynamic microphone? Well, most likely if you're using a more premium dynamic microphone, it's going to be built in such a way to resist phantom power from actually damaging the microphone. But the more discount versions, well, let's just say that it is not gonna do it any favors. And I ended up botching it. That was my fault. I should have listened and taken all of a minute or, or just done what I should have done and raised the level in post because a low level could have raised. So he's using a, a one of these road uh, ball, uh, ball kinds that uh, I don't know what that thing's called, but it's designed for using a longer shotgun microphone. And then he's comparing that to a lyre, totally different kind of shock mount. Now, if you look at it, you'll notice that the fur was actually installed in an upside down. I don't know where my brain was. I was looking down on it, didn't bother to stretch up and look over the thing. Where's my brain? This end piece is very innovative, but very weird. I understand the purpose to mount something with a cold shoe, a 3 8 16 or a quarter 20 threads on it, but there's no sound product on the market that mounts that way. So in all honesty, it's like trying to reinvent the wheel yet still maintain a sense of humor. Sound speeds, even in the rain, or in my case, the shower. Now, why am I in the shower for this particular episode? It's very simple, I'm dirty. All right, we're gonna let it go on that side a little bit, just to make sure it's fully done. I mean, if your microphone doesn't cook all the way through, then it's probably gonna just go bad or something, right? I mean, there's laws against undercooked meat in restaurants, so you might as well make sure your microphone is fully cooked. But if I want to find something that's maybe equally as developed, or even less developed, where in the world am I going to find something like that in the middle of the woods? Well, it just so happens that we are in the wild with a Banjo Scott from Podcastage, which is kind of interesting to find him in here because normally he doesn't leave his studio, but he's out in nature for some reason. What are you doing out here? This is where I live. In a nondescript location yeah, someplace. Anyway, he is going to find or rather seek this sucks doesn't it <laughs> oh god no 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 <sighs> this was a mistake Ooh. man the flavor isn't even all that good okay let's build this cable now oh man next we need to prep our lemon cut your lemon in half and then cut each of those halves in half so now you have four quarters well you do if you don't shoot one across the room like I did. Oh, and it's a good idea to clean up as you go. This is actually the worst possible condition. Actually, you know what? You can't hear me properly because of the wind protection. So I'm going to do that instead. Maybe you can hear this better. And uh, maybe. So if you're looking for something sound, you may find the answer you're looking for in my archives. Be sure to subscribe and tune in the future for what you need to know about sound products, the tips and tricks professionals normally don't share, and sound advice.
Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.